hello guys welcome back so in this uh, video I'll be explaining you how do we set up uh, Codeigniter app to use uh, RESTful services so if you're not aware about how do we install Codeigniter app I request you to go back to my earlier tutorials so I think I have uh, I have a tutorial you know in which I have explained how do we set up the Codeigniter application so just to get a brush up on uh, the setup instructions uh, so let us begin with uh, you know as coding is getting popular uh, day by day and as we have the concept of uh, the restful apis which are gaining popularity nowadays so uh, I, I just thought you know I, uh, why not make a coding night restful api related video so that uh, you guys can take advantage of it so let's uh, let me just quickly demonstrate before getting into the code let me just quickly demonstrate uh, the uh, feature of this uh, particular application I use postman so uh, the postman is open over here so let me just uh, give a quick demonstration of how, how it typically works how the uh, coding writer restful API works so what I have done is I have created a couple I mean there are four uh, I mean couple of uh, post requests and couple of get so let's just go through each of them so this is a login yeah so this is a login uh, request so in this if you can see uh, so this particular application needs a client service that needs to be set up in a header and the auth key and the content type so content type is I mean it's it's by default it's application uh, uh, slash x triple uh, x triple dub form URL encoded so uh, basically you need to take care of these two things like uh, this is for the login request for the initial login request so you need to uh, set the client service to front end client and auth key to simple rest api so and you need to send the username and password as shown here so what i'll do is i'll uh, simply send this request or fire this request yeah so i have fired this login request so as you can see it returns uh, the uh, status it returns the message it returns the id i mean it's the user id basically so, and the token so this token is very important let me quickly copy this token so this this is a token that you know will be uh, uh, using to identify whether it's a valid user or authentic user or not for the consecutive request once the user is logged in so now now the user is logged in so let me just try to fetch some records so now you can see there is slight difference over here so if you can see uh, earlier I used to pass three uh, three parameters in the header but now for the consecutive request after login there are two additional parameters that we need to set in the header one is the authorization token that that you know that the that the backend generated uh, once the uh, login request was successful and the other one is user id so user id is also written by the login request itself so uh, let's just fire the so this is the book i mean book controller let me just fire it so if you can see uh, if if i give some you know some random values it, it doesn't accept let's just try that if you can see yeah so the user id was uh, was one actually i just you know try to uh, you know mismatch just to demonstrate that this this particular uh, response from the back end you know now it says uh, 401 status with the unauthorized message so actually let me just get back i'll say send so if you can see this is a json data that that i got in response so this is id1 and the title so this is basically uh, you know it gets this this particular request gets me the whole list of uh, data that is in books table so now let's try another one so i need to copy this this is the authorization token for this particular user id so now let me just get the details of a particular book so for this the uh, endpoint is book slash detail slash one one is a id of that particular book that we are trying to fetch 
so if you can see so this is a detail of a particular book so let me just compare or let me just open a mysql workbench so what i'll do is that i'll add a, a couple more records in a books table so that you know you can get the difference between the the detail and the book api so currently there is only one uh, record here php i'll say and the third one is basic surf code igniter i'm adding some dummy records just so that i get some valid data so let's get back i have added the uh, records over here so let's get back to that book books api yeah let me send it here you go so this is uh, this is i mean it's uh, sorted by descending order so if you can see so I, there are three records over here so that is how we are able to see all the three records so now what i'll do is that i'll i'll say i want a book detail of second i mean book detail of the book with id 2 so if you can see this is our get so this is i mean this is a quick overview of demo of this particular sample application that you know i forked it uh, from one of the uh, github repo so let me just quickly walk you through the code so if you can see auth is a controller i mean this is the one that is responsible for uh, logging in and logging out uh, logging the user out so basically there are only two uh, methods as of now you can extend it as per your requirement so a simple login request i mean it gets the method type i mean the request method type if if it's a, if it's not a post then it says it's a bad request else it's uh, you know enters this particular loop here what you do is uh, you get the username and password and then once you get the username and password you redirect the request to the model so my model is the one that is that handles this auth authentication request and you know all the uh, book related requests i have created only one model so you know all the uh, the methods related to this model are stored over here i mean you can uh, you know diversify uh, as per your requirement and you know you can <coughs> split them into a corresponding section accordingly so let me just uh, so this was uh, my model and login so in my model if i i mean it comes over here so what it does is it selects based on the password and id i mean it selects the password and id based on the username so if if uh, there are no records then it says no no boss there is no such user and it's it it throws out uh, if if there is a user then it evaluates i mean it gets the password and it tries to evaluate the uh, the password that we entered and it tries to matches the password that is uh, stored in the database so if it's uh, equal then you know it locks you in so the next important thing or the uh, you know the way the restful api works is based on this particular token so this the time is you know we can create a token this is how we create so we just uh, generate some random numbers so it's a random token and uh, we also set it uh, we also set the expired time so the expired time for this particular uh, token is 12 hours i mean so this is what um, what i have done if you want you can you know you can limit it to 24 hours if you want if you are if you want an application to be very you know very um, uh, secure and you know if you want to check it every now and then you can keep it accordingly as per your need so now we start the transaction so what we do is so whenever the user gets you know whenever the user logs in we update the user's last login so this is how we do and we uh, insert the uh, token that is generated in in a table 
so just to keep a track of it uh, in a user's authentication table so if if the transaction is <coughs> if the transaction is uh, not successful then we roll back with giving a you know 500 error saying internal server error else uh, we say that the user is successfully logged in and we return this particular array it's it's a json array so basically for you know json encoding stuff so uh, so if you can see there is a json uh, output over here so what uh, we have done is you know we have created a json output helper so this helper is nothing but you know it just sets the content type it just accepts the uh, status header and response and it automatically uh, you know creates a json based output with a proper format that we intend to get out of it uh, so this is a logout method so once again so i mean this just logs out and you know it clears the uh, the authentication token that is corresponds that corresponds to the logged in user and these are the other uh, you know methods say book all data and then it gets all the data book detail data it gets the book detail by id so you know there are other methods also like you know create update and delete which i want you guys to try out and let me know if you guys face any issues with this so what i'll do is that i'll i'll either give a github uh, repo in the description below or i'll give a direct download link from my uh, google drive so i'll do that either i mean any 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 of the one i'll do and you know maybe you can just fork the fork my github repo or you know you can just download the uh, sample the sample app from my uh, google drive so which which will be a open uh, you know download link so you need not log in also so this is how you can use it you know i mean there are a lot of other things that you can do say you know um, if you want uh, for this is the auth controller right so think that yeah let's go over here so this is uh, you know a book controller so in this controller if you want you know uh, this controller should be accessed all the time by the uh, valid logged in user so what you can do you know you can uh, check the uh, auth client in the controller in the parent construct itself so that way you avoid this you know line getting uh, writing it uh, suppose say you have 100 functions over here in this uh, book controller so this way you can avoid writing this particular you know check 100 times so this way you can you know you can um, make use of the oops concepts as as you want and you know try to explore this i mean this is a sample it's you, you can say it is a blueprint of the restful api uh, you know the restful api support for code igniter but you know you can um, extend this i mean you can go on from here and extend it to as per your needs so this is uh, this is just a basics so uh, hope you guys like this video um, download it you know try out if you have any other improvements feel free to tell me i can you know make sure that it is done and also if you find any uh, bugs I am sure you know I have used it in a couple of my applications I don't feel there are any bugs but if you guys find out any bugs feel free to you know provide me a suggestion so that I can improve it uh, rest yeah so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video hope to see you in my next video thanks a lot